I greet you today in the lovely name of the Lord Jesus to the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area across the state of Oklahoma and beyond. Got a great word for you today and some very important announcements. First of all, the word for the week, uh, we used this in last week's presentation, but it's on my heart right now. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God be truly furnished and equipped unto all good works. The Word of God has our answer. It's the owner's manual. And so doctrine tells me what is right. Reproof tells me what is not right. Correction tells me how to get right and instruction tells me how to stay right. What you and I need, the truth we need, is in the Word of God. It's through His Word that we're set free. It's through His Word that we're restored. It's through His Word that we're equipped. In James chapter 1, it, it talks about trials, <laughs> that, uh, that their purpose is to bring us to full maturity to bring us to full restoration and bring us to being fully equipped. God has a process and a plan, and it's to use the Word of God to equip us and restore us. And um, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Not only the logos, not only the written, but the rhema the present tense spoken word of the living God. And so uh, the blessed man, he meditates in that book day and night. He is strong, like we used to teach our children. He is strong like a tree planted by the river. <laughs> His leaves don't die, and everything he does will succeed. Well, Joshua also was told by the Lord, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. In other words, it's, don't stop speaking it. Don't let the word leave you. Keep speaking that word. But you need to meditate in it so that you can obey it. And so shalt thou make thy way prosperous. So shalt thou have good success. And then Paul told Timothy in the New Testament, he said, meditate upon these things and give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear unto all. You can't stay in the Word without eventually it becoming evident to everyone around you. This individual is a tree planted by the rivers of water that's producing fruit. And uh, the wicked, the, <laughs> the New International Children's Version, but the wicked are not like that. They are like useless chaff that the wind drives away. Oh, but the righteous, they're, they're permanent. Uh, they're stable. And they're fruit-producing, productive. And so that's the word for this week. Stay in the word. Meditate upon the word. Give yourself to it. And uh, your profiting, your growth, your development, your uh, increase will become evident to everyone. Well, uh, just a, a quick announcement or just an update. The uh, America at the Crossroads conference is going strong. I'll show you a couple of pictures. We had a great turnout and uh, great messages challenging by Dan and Paul and other guest speakers as well. And so that will be over this Wednesday at noon. And then Thursday, this Thursday, the 22nd, uh, you don't want to miss it. We have got Kevin Freeman this Thursday, 8.30 a.m. Let me just read a little bit of this bio. He's considered one of the world's leading experts on the issues of economic warfare and financial terrorism. He's consulted, or has been consulted for and briefed, consulted by and briefed members of both houses of Congress, presented in the past to the CIA, the DIA, the FBI, the SEC, Homeland Security, the Justice Department, as well as, as, well as local and state law enforcement. His research has been presented in critical DOD studies on economic warfare, on Iran, weapons of mass destruction, presented to the Secretary of Defense and the Undersecretary of Defense and the Intelligence Committees. 
Uh, he's traveled extensively with research trips to Russia, China, throughout Europe, and the Americas. And he's also a contributing editor to Tactics and to Preparedness Magazine. He's a co-founder of NCIS Institute, deputy speaker of the Cherokee Community of North Texas, and senior fellow at the Center of Security Policy. And so um, he's also on the advisory board for the First Liberty Institute, as well as a trustee of Oklahoma uh, Wesleyan University. So uh, I have to say this, that the last time Kevin was here, uh, we had a great turnout, but it was one of the most insightful, informative, uh, and motivating speak, uh, speeches or presentations that we've had in five years. I would say his presentation, uh, I would categorize, is, categorize it as one of the top four or five presentations that we've ever had. It's that, uh, that information is that critical uh, to America's future. So you don't want to miss this Thursday. Make it a point to be there. And then lastly, uh, many are wondering, what about our banquet? What about our banquet? Well, this Thursday, uh, the registration will be available on the website. Now, the reason it's taken us a while is I will, I'm waiting on the word tomorrow from Fred Markert. Now, Fred Markert, he spoke for us a couple of years ago. Uh, he's one of the foremost world's authorities on the geopolitical rise and fall of nation states. Uh, he has a resume. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add a clip to this. It'll be a short clip, but it's an incredibly impressive resume. Um, he um, has traveled to 150 50 nations of the world. He's a guest lecturer at Harvard. Uh, he is a former president of Christ for the Nations, as well as one of the leaders of YWAM, one of the most uh, effective missions organizations in the world. And so you're not going to want to miss him. And that registration will be available this Thursday, uh, the 22nd. Okay. So don't miss this Thursday and don't miss this coming Thursday registering for our banquet on October the 6th. Love you. Appreciate you. Hope to see you this Thursday. Don't miss it. Join the movement. Change the world. Cityelders.com. Historically, democracies do not last beyond 250 years. Where is America on that scale? Is it possible America could fall to socialism or even worse, communism? Many futurists are asking that very question right now. Fred Markert is considered by many to be one of the leading thinkers in the world concerning the historical, geopolitical rise and fall of nation states and world civilizations. He's a favored guest lecturer at Yale University. Market is also the founding president of The Gap, the Global Awakening Project, an international initiative for spiritual awakening and national preservation. He proposes that national revival is the only means to prevent the present potential collapse of Western civilization. Markert has been the international director of YWAM and president of Christ for the Nations. He has traveled to over 150 nations of the world and presently hails from Colorado Springs, Colorado. You do not want to miss this presentation by Christian thinker and global strategist Fred Markert.